What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, come in, subscribe. Make sure you click post notification so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to shade inside of Adobe Illustrator. So if you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. I just told you. So first thing you want to do before you get to the shading process, you want to make sure you got some very clean line work. You know what I'm saying? Make sure when you was making your line work, you was doing everything clean as you can and make sure you was closing off lines. After you finish your line work, what you want to do, you want to... You want to highlight everything. Then you want to go to object, expand appearance, and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder. After you hit merge on your pathfinder, you want to drag your line work layer to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy. Lock the top copy. It feels After you do that, you want to grab you a color to start with. And I like to start with the skin tone. A good base color. Let's see what we're going to try to do. Would it be a good? I think this would be pretty good right there. Okay, go to this rectangle tool. And you want to drag it over the Hold up, hold up. Sometimes. Let's get this color again. Okay, go to your rectangle tool. Right-click the rectangle color we just made. Go to Arrange and Send to Back. After you do that, you want to highlight everything together, and then you want to click Merge on your Pathfinder, so we can make it one with the color. And then you can right-click onto it, Isolate Select Group. And now we can click this area and delete it. Now we can come in here and change colors manually. So let's click this, this, hold shift to select more than one thing at a time. Make that white. Wait, let me show you a method I like to do too. It just became a habit. I open my line work layer. I got the color added to it. And so I can get this drop down menu. And then I lock all my black layers. And the reason I do that, so when I'm trying to work with colors that's too close to my line work, so I won't make a mistake and select the line work, it's locked so it won't even be an option for me to choose it so that's why i like to stroll down inside my line work layer until i get to the last color of black and i lock only the black line work and i stroll up as i as i'm locking holding down the left trigger on my mouse I can lock 
like all the line work so I won't make a mistake. And then I leave these top two unlocked and I close it. So now if I'm trying to pick a color instead of having to zoom in to make sure I get don't get my line work selected, I ain't gotta worry about it no more. Now I can just select it all together. Cause it's only gonna pick my color. Gotta do isolate select group again. Now that we finished with the base color, it's time to focus on shading. So a lot of times the picture that you draw, it'll really have the, the blueprint of the shading laid out for you. So what all you wanna do is, you wanna mute the color layer, and then you wanna bring up the picture. And as you can see, it kind of give you a blueprint of where your dark shadow is supposed to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our color layer back. We're going to sample, sample the skin tone color. And we're going to find a good shadow for it. It don't have to be perfect. It can just be something to start off with and we can tweak it later. Start out with. Let's see, we're gonna use this for now. Okay. And you wanna create you a new layer, and you can name it a layer. I mean, you can give it a name so you'll know what layer is what. Me, on the other hand, I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? What kind of slappy with it, but it's all good. See? But yeah, it'll be best to, to label it. Label all your layers so you'll know which one is what. Okay, we finna create a shadows on this layer, so we're gonna mute the line work. I mean, not the line work, the color layer. And now we're gonna just follow along kind of the, the blueprint that's been given by the original picture. So, what we're gonna do is, I like to use my Council tool. Click OK. And now we're just going. We're going to follow it, but at the same time, we're going to try to clean it up and create our own little style with it. So I'm using it, but not so much. kind of tweak it a little bit but it, it kind of give you a good idea of where your shadows and shading should go
together. Same thing over here. We're going to follow it. Still add our own adjustments at the same time. And then the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And then after a while, you won't won't have to follow the picture you'll be able to look at a picture and just know where the shadow should go so let's come together Okay, now that we got our first shadow layer down, one thing I want to do, I want to make it darker. So, let's take this off real quick so we can focus on it. So, one thing I want to do, I want to make this my dark shadow layer. Speaking of, let's go ahead and before we, do, before we start switching up colors,
darken that shadow layer up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select all the shadows. Now we got our shadow selected. What, what, what you wanna do is you wanna come up to your edit, edit color. You wanna come right here, go to color harmony. Got all selected so we can tweak these colors individually that's on this layer. So I'm bring it down some. really what you want to do if you're not used to doing shades and for your artwork you want to just follow along with the picture until you get the hang of it now i'm gonna take it from here and finish this on out
make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe more heat coming soon and i'm out this thing